Hi everybody. As you can see, I am being welcomed by Lismore General Cemetery. Thank you very much to Council for putting this information up for me because I was having quite a hard, a hard time trying to find information. All I could find on this cemetery was that it opened in 1908. But you can have a read. The one on Nimbin Road, I showed you, they turned it into a Pioneer um, Memorial Park. So it, it's basically just the headstones. I did do a video of it, so you can always go back and have a look if you'd like. Um, okay, 1980, okay, fair enough. Um, Okay, they're saying here it was gazetted in 1907. The first person was buried here in 1908. Sorry. All right, probably a good thing that the cremations did stop. I don't think you want to catch a whiff of Uncle Charlie going up in flames. All right, so the unmarked children's graves is the first thing we see. I have no idea what this is for. It is unmarked. And all we have is a sculpture. It's a nicely located cemetery and a nice hilly. Then you've got the down side of the hill. Not sure where we um, it should be going to start off with. I haven't really roamed around here before. So, this is the Presbyterian Cemetery, Pioneer Memorial. And it goes right down in the far corner. That looks like the older section right down there. All right. These chunky Emily Robertson and William Robinson. You got some chunky butt headstones going on there. They look more 30s style to me, but 1953. Nineteen twelve, the Rob Robertsons, Robinsons, and the Robertsons. This person letting their dogs out up the hill, which I don't think they're supposed to do. But how do you get that? Um, trying to head for somewhere. Let's head for this tree. There's heaps and heaps to see here. Um, R.S. Hamilton, 7th Depot, um, pl um, pl pl 
Platelian, Platelian, I can't say it, Pat Patelian in 1915. Alright. This one's walking a bit of a state here. It's a shame this one's looks like somebody's actually because it doesn't have a, enough of a lean. It looks like somebody's pushed this one over. You get that these days, unfortunately. Looks like somebody has pushed it over. It's a shame. Uh, I'm heading for this one. This looks relatively new here, this one. That's another 1950. That looks new to me. That looks relatively new. Maybe. Um, somebody's come in and fixed it up from the army, something. I just wanted to have a look at this one. God knows what that lady's doing with her dogs. Shouldn't be running around everywhere. This looks uh, 20s going off the headstone. Sarah. I can't make it out. Uh, she died in 1925. There you go. So, go me. You got these under this huge camper laurel. Camper laurels are a pest in this region here, in um, around Lismore. And um, people are trying to get rid of them. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't look like it should be on there. Does it? This all looks a bit creepy, this bit. Oh, poor. Whoever was buried under there sure as hell isn't there. Oh, shouldn't be. Don't blaspheme. Oh, what's this? What's that? Okay, who's here? James Dickey. Died in 1928. There. And you got these people there. Um, another tree. She's yelling like crazy at the dogs now. This tree was chopped out here. 1929 and 1928. Robert McLeary died in 1928. And Mary McLeary died in 1929. She was 79 and he was 83. Not bad ages. Creepy. This section here is. What's going on here? This doesn't look too old for some reason. And Scotcher died in 1930. That's relatively new. It's like, I don't know. Hard to tell. All right, guys, where do I go from here? Keep going up the hill. Might as well keep going up the hill. 1929 1953 It's what you'd imagine a cemetery to be like Really 
big trees coming up the hill. Here's another one. Nineteen forty five. Nineteen seventy. Nineteen. The headstones don't look that old on those ones. It's interesting. Okay. Not too sure where I'm headed. Um. This is the Elliot Row, by the look of it. You got Henry Elliot just there in the middle. You got Barbara Grant Elliot. Yeah. She died in 61. And I just can't make out what this one. Grant. I can't make out what that says, unfortunately. Whitney Alice Doris and Charles Charles Ackland seventy three Charles died. All right, let's go and find you something. Instead of just roaming around in every Single grave. Let's see what this white one is. This looks a bit military to me. And yes, I'm correct. That looks like something, I don't know, like you'd find at Arlington or something. Those white headstones. Sixth Light, Light Horse Regiment, 28th of November 1950. He was aged 63. Well, that's all right. Amy Meldrum, 2003. Right. Okay, let's see where else we got. Let's go up here. Oh, there's so many around take forever to try and look at them all. I didn't realise it was this big, to be honest. At least this um, cemetery gives you room to move. There's more military ones just down there, those light coloured ones down there. It's weird because they're all facing up the hill, which is east. Where you'd think, let them have a nice view down into the, into the valley there. Let's have a look. We've got some raised graves over here. Some dumped car up there. I think it's dumped. Hopefully it's not some crazy person decided to live up there. Alrighty. Okay, okay. Looks like a couple of kids great oh, more than a couple. That's very short. That's my kids grow. I don't know, I can't make that one out. Infant son and their kids graves there. Oh, there's one over there as well. Peter. Our baby Peter Anthony, 1961. Enrico Rosa. Was only three years old when 
Enrico, Enrico um, is a boy's name, I'd like to think. Sorry if it's not, if anybody knows better. Enrico Rosa. Okay. We got dad going on here, have we? Hang on. He died in 67. The grandfather, maybe. This is Enrico Rosa. He died in 1963. Could be the father. I don't know. Grandfather. We'll say grandfather. Somebody's taken the statue out of this one here. You can see. Another baby one there. Alright, I wanted to come up here to these ones. Bit of a climb, more babies. Hey baby. And Edna. Infant daughter of Edna and Girl Morrissey, I think. She died in um, 64. And David James Bruggy died in 1964 as well. That's not good. What's going on with 64? Was that a flu year or something? Should have looked it up. Got all this cemetery to look at. Oop! Look out, I nearly trod on you. Sorry. I have no idea what that's it. Oh, here you go. Oh. Angelo Conti, Italy. Died in 1976. But they've really been buried up in there. Just in this. Look at this one open here. Died in 1974. I don't know who. Mur Muriel, I think. Died in 1974, age 57. That's creepy as yuck. Just need some critter to jump out at me. Can't see anything. <laughs> yuck. It's a something in there. Don't know what it is. Right. So she might have been removed. Okay. Another bubba. Cameron Gould. 64 again. What happened in 64? She's all going off in 64. There's another baby one. Let's have a look at this one. Well, here's a bubble one, I think. Looks the size of a bubble one. Michael Anthony Bruggy. 1965, aged three and a half years. Was it that um, Spanish flu back then? Maybe? I need to do a little bit of research when I get home. Or if anybody knows, um, I did read up and I did look at um, different pandemics over the years on YouTube. But it never really sunk in as to when these were. I think this was, might have been the Spanish, Spanish flu, Hong Kong flu, getting mixed up with them. Um, here's another one. Bless her heart. Jacinta Annie K. 
Curtin, I think it says. And she died in 1964 um, uh, as well, and she was only age five. Let's see a little heart. 1978, 1964. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, bless. In memory of Serence? Is that a name? Serence? Lawrence? Serence. Gerence. Serence. I've never heard that name before. Um, died in 1962, aged four hours. Bless. Interesting that the cross is still here. Um, Kevin is buried there. In his statue, probably of the Virgin Mary or something along those lines, was probably in there. Um, he was aged 15, died in 1961. Nineteen sixty two. All right, folks, I'm heading down. There's so much to see. I'm gonna head for the far corner, I think. Um, this one's a bit, a bit sad. That actually looks like glass to me, which surprises me. That actually looks like glass and not um, granite, which I always thought it was. That might be why they're always so clean and smooth. Alright folks, let's head down here. I'll save that for another time I think over here. Not sure how I'm going with my battery. Got 20% on this one. Alrighty. I can't see any new burials though. Oh, just made a liar out of myself. Just straight down there beside the, that fork tree next to my finger. There's one just behind it. Um, but it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of burials going on here. Nineteen seventy one, Eric. Look how clean this is. I'm gonna look over here, this angel, before my battery dies. Mm. Mm, I don't know why I do it to myself anyway, wanting to look down there. Rah, rah. Some hand coming out and getting you and watching too many carry movies. Look how clean this 1963 age there you go, four years, bless. Um Janet May Wilson. Bless. The picture's all screwed up. You can't see the picture anymore. But look how clean that statue is. Okay. 
a lot, a lot of military being placed in here with their rising sun emblem and just the plain cement graves. Okay, hopefully this will work for me. Um, I've got my old, um, picked up my old Hero Fire battery instead of my new one and put it in there. Says it might not have all the features, um, but I hope it will be okay for you guys. So, here's the grave that is relatively new because we've had a fair bit of rain Merrick Close aged 66 um, you got Ralph Close Merrick you got Ralph there and you got George Close there Merrick is Merrick a lady's name um, let me know Whoever they, uh, it is, they belong. You got close over there as well. Um, where should I head? Decisions, decisions. Okay. You got Peter Carroll that lives there. Look at this one, this is lovely. Lynette, Lena, Elizabeth Moran, Nee Roberts. She died in um, uh, 2020. Okay. That's really nice of her family to give her such a nice, um, Headstone and grave, that's lovely. 2020. Okay. Um, it's a shame there's some posts that had different sections marked out once, but I can't tell because they've been taken away. I'll head for this fancy looking one down here. There's these. It, it seems weird that they're all looking up the hill. It's, it, that seems very weird. Um, let's see how this one's going here. Nineteen forty five, aged eighteen months. Um, nineteen forty four. All right, we'll head for this one here. E. H. Edwards died April nineteen ten. Carol Penelope, beloved wife of Edwards. Robert Edward Clark, uh, Todd, 1913. Okay, let's head for these couple of raised crypty looking things. Um, because there's a lot of rain here, as with anywhere else, because this is the subtropics, right? and we get a decent wet season, there's another um, third, uh, fourth divi division ammunition column, August 1937, age 41. Was the loved husband of Jessica Martha Collier. Uh, 
Um, yeah, because um, we're in the subtropics, um, we get a wet season here. That's why all these graves all look so uniformly black. Um, 30, 1936 to age 10 days, bless. All right, let's have a look. Um, these two sitting here by themselves. Which again is interesting because 1938, and you've got Catherine Ann Hicks. I'd be assuming that this uh, might be a husband. George Hicks, 1930. Right. Let's go and check this one out. Here's another military headstone. They're nice, those ones. 1941. Um, Patrick Casey. This is right on my head. Just seeing if there's any. Ugh. Walking through a whole lot of cobwebs. Um, another military one here. Um, that was definitely in the war. Uh, died in 1942, age 22. That was definitely war. And you got these. I wonder where the section is um, for the Muslim and Sheikh and stuff. I need to find out where that is because that would be interesting to just go and see. All right, you got Moses Family Vault. Quite impressive, quite creepy. You got Michael Moses. Oh, 1976. Got George Moses, he died in 1990. Uh, Rose Moses, Mary, Mo uh, Ro um, Mary Moses, that died in 1940. Rose Moses and Dennis Moses. One, two, three. Four, five, five have been shelved in this thing. Uh, would have had another statue up on the corners there, I'd be assuming. This all sealed in marble. You've got your drain hole. Ugh, that seems a bit gross. And interesting. This is the side. Interesting that there's no windows. Moses. So you got Jesus up on that corner. There would have been up one up on this corner, I'm pretty sure. So, interesting. Just uh, I always feel weird knowing that just behind that you've got people shelved doing their thing. All right. We have four very identical crosses just there. Let's go and have a look at those. There's another crypt there. We'll have a look at that one. McDonnell, 1962, died at St. Vincent's Hospital, Lismore in 1940, ordained priest at Waterford, wherever that is, 
Okay, so we got priesties. Is this for uh, what the Reverend Father Vicar uh, Vicar Theory SM, whatever that means, born in France, died in 1944. Reverend Father Reverend Father, um, can't read it. O'Malley, Mulaney, maybe? I can't read it. Um, St. Patrick's Church. Uh, died at St. Vincent's Hospital in 1944. What's with all these priests dying in 1940s, 1944? What's that all about? Um... Reverend Father David A. Murray ordained in December 1927 died in Lismore in 48 I don't think I would have liked to have been a, a priest or reverend or whatever they were for Reverend Father in the 40s in Lismore I don't think I would have liked to have done that um, another reverend. Is this just the reverend section? Is a reverend, is it reverend father? Or is it just um, people um, put that on there? No, reverend father, isn't it? There's a reverend father over there as well. Reverend father, Patrick Carey. St. Joseph's Patrick Cowper. Cowper? I don't know where Cowper is. At least he wasn't in the 40s. Monsignor Thomas Killian Farelli ordained Rome 1916 died Lismore at 69 Mother and father down there. You got re all the reverends are down here. Look, how many reverends did they have? You got. You got. Reverend Father Herbert, I think McMassey, maybe I mean, just Reverend Brother, I think that one says 18, he was born in 1876 Reverend Bernard Francis Francis Cunn or Gunn, uh, he was ordained in 1912, I can't read when he died unfortunately. Brother, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, if anybody could read that, yeah, Il Dip von um, he was a brother. We've got another brother there. Sorry, brother. I'm, I'm stepping all over you, brother. We've got Reverend Thomas, Father Charles Smith. We've got ordained priest Dublin in 1914. Ordained priest in 1958. Good grief. I've never seen so many um, holy people all um, um, planted in one spot. Most Reverend Thomas 
Muldoon. 68. Okay. Consecrated Bishop. I'm not sure what FR means. Does it mean father? Does anybody know? It could mean father. Reverend. Father, I think. Father Francis. Father Dennis. Mullins. Father Edward. Father Arthur. Father Paul. Rex Brown. 2005. Interesting. Interesting. Sister. Sister of St. Joseph. Died in 64, age 33. S sister. Maybe. Does this ask sta Sisters of Charity. Does this ask stand for Sister. If anybody knows, please let me know. Sorry, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to anybody. So, these just go on, don't they? I can't read those ones. That was just really odd. And I can't read these ones, sorry. That's why I'm not really stopping. Thirty-three, age thirty-seven. All right, now we got this low-rise crypt, Doctor Joseph Skype. Loving memory of Albert Skype, Doctor Joseph Skype. We've got a whole lot of weird. It could be Jewish. I don't know. Helen Scott. I don't understand that. Um, do Jews, Jewish people have anything to do with um, the crucifix? I don't know. I sound really ignorant sometimes. And I am. I have no idea. So, it's pretty simple this one, there's not much to it, just air vents, they always make you feel like you need to hold your breath going past them, it's just in case, <laughs> oh dear. Stop it. Okay, let's head. For these big ones. There's a big one over there. We'll go and have a look. Dear, my dear husband and our dear father Charles Skeleton, who he is now, um, died in 1926. Poor love. Our dear mother, she died in 1935, uh, In loving memory of Luvinza, Luvisa, Luvisa, Meza, Luvisa Meza, who died in June 1926, age 66. That is a decent headstone going on there. 
Um, Peter Mazza, Mazza, 1927. Ferelli, Patrick Ferelli, 26. There's a whole lot, um, row. Not sure what these are. Let's go and have a quick look. Not sure what these are, but they're all pretty much identical. Oh. I mean, six mother. In loving memory, mother. Mother. Okay. They're all sisters and mothers. Mother M. Agnes. 64, 61, 64, 64, 65. Mother. Mother. SM sister, I'd say, 65, 65. I really need to find out what was going on in the 60s, early 60s, because um, MM, don't know what that one is. Sister, M Bernard Lynn, 68, 68, 69. Mother. Okay, we're going up. We have all the sisters and mothers. 74, 75. Sister. Sister. Sister, Nora. Sister, I think. Like I said, um, if anybody, um, if I'm saying it wrong, the SR, um, please let me know. 2009, 2010, and 2015. So, Sister Elizabeth Mary Fitzgerald P B V M, whatever that means. Isabella, let's get a decent view of your statue, Isabella. Um, I don't know what this circle was for. Uh, I don't know what that was for. Isabella, beloved wife of Thomas English. She died in 1922. Uh, bear with me a second. I'll just get a picture of that. If you don't mind. Sorry, folks. Just get a couple of pictures just for a screen. Nope. Oh. Come on, you can do it. Okay. So, not all your fancy bits down here. Is this Catholic section? It would be if you've got sisters and all that sort of stuff, wouldn't it? And they've all got... Don't make a wire out of me now. Where are you? Show me. Are you going to have it? No, you're just going to be plain. Um, now that I want you, I'm not going to be able to find it. That's a bit unfortunate. Look at this one.
Dudley Davis, I think it says. Um, here. Yeah. No. Go back this way. See if there's anything here. Um, again, excuse my ignorance. Hopefully you can see. What does, is that symbol Catholic? Uh, please let me know in the um, comments. I really am not trying to be disrespectful of that at all. Um, Patrick Ray Bot Brian. Um, I think I could be in the um, Catholic section. Like I said, it's all a bit old and rambly now. And in his in his service, I think that it means up on the cross up there. James Francis O'Brien. Um, with names like that, that usually should not assume and we've got more over here we've got brother you've got brother various Hatfield you got father James Carn Carney you got father John Naylor 57 uh, most reverend John Stephen Set Setter Thwaite. Um, he died in nineteen uh, uh, two thousand sixteen. He died, and Father Edward Francis. They sound Catholic to me, so we'll say this is Catholic. Flynn William Flynn. That sounds like another Catholic name, doesn't it? Alright. Heaps to see. God knows how I'm going to do this one. Um, I might need to come back. Because all up there I haven't done yet. And I haven't seen... I'll turn this off shortly. We'll go here, back up to this mausole mausoleum, and Quinn O'Brien, O'Brien, Zambel, Zambelli, Antonio. Um, all right. See so how we go with this here. I'm going to stop it here because otherwise the file's going to be so big I won't be able to um, upload it um, without um, losing, uh, getting really bad quality, which is unfortunate. So I'll leave it here. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please um, like and subscribe. Um, Thank you very much to everybody um, for um, helping me out on my PayPal. You won't, um, you just can't imagine how much um, it's actually helping me out and how much it means to me that you have. I am not sure how to say thank you personally on a PayPal. I don't know how to do it. I, I'm not even sure if you can do it. Um, but thank you, everybody. Um, Share me around, get me out there, help my um, subscribers, um, um, my account go up. Um, because I'm bringing all um, this to you and I just um, it, it just feels like it's sort of just plateaued out. And yes, there has been issues with my health and um, all that sort of stuff. And I did think I was going to be in a serious situation right now, but I'm not. So let's keep um, this channel going. Share it around, um, get people to subscribe me, help me out, um, please everybody, that would be lovely. And there might be a part two, I'm going to go and have a um, bit of a ram, um, rummage around to the other side. 
Uh, there might be a part two. Otherwise, we'll leave it here because I think I've already done an hour. All right, thank you very much for watching and peace out, everybody. Love you all. See you in the next one. Bye. It's been fun. Leave a comment.